All right, this is a game that um, I was thinking about on how to use the uh, stability balls and things like that uh, with my younger kids. Um, Because we use stability balls and things like that for the fourth and fifth graders, um, you know, for crunches and balancing and things like that. And I was kind of coming up with a trying to think of a way to use those with my K to one, two to three kit. And um, through the process of finding out what didn't work in three or four classes, decided to come up with this. And I can't take credit for the entire game because one of my students came up with this idea. And now here comes the game called Germ Ball. G-U-R-M-B-A-L-L. So the what this is, is these that I'm moving here, these larger circles, that is a stability ball, stability ball, and stability ball. And just for this, uh, the, the instruction here, just have um, four of them. You guys can use how many you want and vice versa. Anyway, the stability balls are the germs. Those are the germs. And these circles here, these smaller circles here are just poly spots that I put on the floor. These are just poly spots here that I put on the floor to uh, act as a boundary line. Okay, so this is one team side, this is the other team side. And what I tell the kids or the students is that they don't want the germs on their side. So they have to um, get the germs off their side. And on the signal, on the signal, this student would go pick up a ball, which could be um, any type of uh, playground ball, a gator skin ball. So these right here would be a uh, gator skin ball or any type of dodge ball. So that student would go pick up this ball, and their job is to grab that ball and throw the ball at one of the stability balls. Their job is to either you can do it overhand or underhand. Okay. So let's get this out here. We'll get rid of this line. So let's reposition this guy. So let's say there was a dodgeball over here. The student would run, go get it, pick it up, and they can either go overhand or underhand. And so they would take the ball and they have to try and throw it at one of the stability balls and get the stability ball to roll, obviously. Okay, so their job is to try and get the stability ball to roll over to this team's side. Okay, and vice versa. Okay, this player here would go find a dodgeball. Okay, let's say that this stability ball was a little closer here. Okay. A little closer, we'll move this player out of the way. Okay, so this player, okay, this student right here would pick up the dodgeball, the gator skin ball, and try and throw it at that stability ball. So they would take the ball and try and throw it at this stability ball, or in this case, the germ ball, and get it to roll all the way over to this team side. Okay, now what we tell the kids and again, I can't take credit for this. This is what one of my students came up with, is that the dodgeballs here, these smaller ones, are the medicine. They're the medicine to help you uh, stay away from the germs. That's why we throw the, the medicine at the germ balls. So uh, we play for two or three minutes, and if there's more germs on one team's side, the other team wins, and things like that. Now, some things to kind of look out for as I've played this these last couple days is um, with the little kids, kindergarten takes a pretty good effort for them to try and throw at those stability balls and get them to roll. So I kind of let them pick up the I let them pick up the dodge balls and they can hold it with their hand, run, and then they have to try and hit the ball with the medicine to get it to roll. Um, I've even kind of played around with the idea of maybe allowing them to kick it. I still haven't made up my mind on that yet. Um, 
but that's what I found with kindergarten and also some uh, other things to think about for first, second, third graders is that they can't touch the stability ball with their hands. They can't kick it or use their bare hands. Otherwise, they've been, quote unquote, germed. They, they have the germs. They have to touch it with the smaller balls, in this case, the medicine. Anyway, that's uh, kind of it for this idea. Uh, the information will be on my blog and I'll post it on Twitter. Thanks.